Bob Volkrod's Hunting Adventures is brought to you commercial free by these fine sponsors. Gore-Tex, Winchester Ammunition, Kinetrek, Kufaru, and LJ Blessings Ranch. Opportunity. We've got a nice skull here. There's a few things I just want to explain to you. If you use your, if you try and use your eyes as a guideline, if his head's that high and you shoot him say between the eyes, all you're going to do is go through this solid bone here, and then through all the sponge inside here is is just it's like a whole sponge, and you're not going to do anything to him. You you won't even stun him. Yeah. If you hit him that high, okay. This is where the tusks go in here. This is the top of the tusks. If I broke this piece off here, you'd be able to see the top of the tusk. Okay. So the tusks come right in there. You know, so if you hit there, you're going to hit one of the tusks. Right. So you need to keep very central, on, especially on a frontal brain, you need to keep very central on the head. But when you, when you, see, when you see the elephant alive, you'll see what I mean with the ear holes. The ear holes do stick out. You know, they definitely stand out. Once you see it the first time, You'll know, you'll know what I'm meaning. And then just keep that, just keep that line. Okay, so <clears throat> where's, where would you hit him? Facing here right now then. Like that. So then you're still you're gonna be hitting yeah, right here. Yeah, then. like in there. Okay. Yeah. Remember this, this is the, this is the hot, this is the most solid bone. This one and this one. Those are the two, the two big ones. But a 375 will go, will go straight through that. And then this, the side brain, because his head's in that position. Like we were talking earlier, the a perfect brain shot, perfect side brain would probably be about that far in front of, in okay. front of the ear hole. Okay. Like in there. But like I said to you, use the ear, use the ear hole as a guideline. It's a perfect target. Take that target and use it, and just put him straight in there. Put the shot in the ear hole, and he's not going anywhere. Bob Folkrod's hunting gear includes a Browning A bolt and 375, and Winchester solid ammunition, Swarovski optics, Redhead and skin base layers, Redhead clothing with Gore-Tex and Windstopper, and a Crooked Horn Bino system. An elephant, I mean, when it was right into the heart of the things, I mean, when the actual, we were there, we could hear him breaking branches, you know. And it's hard to explain how you feel inside because again, you're excited and you have a lot of anticipation inside and something just is, keeps pushing you forward. You know there's danger involved and we're following the tracks, the trackers are onto them and you're getting closer and closer because you can hear them. And you can, it's like hunting turkeys, you, you know where they are and we're, and we're putting on a stalk and all of a sudden there he was, he appeared and we just, Magnificent. I mean, he was just huge, just like you expected him. And you know you're going to get close to this animal and to make a right shot. And, and, and we keep going and going. And I mean, now he's like, you know, 40 yards, and now he's like 30 yards, and we're right amongst them. We got one to our right, we got one to our left, and we're glassing him. And then all of a sudden, you know, one looks like he's going to. It's gonna come at you, so we back off a little bit, and we discuss which one we're gonna shoot, and then we're right back in on top of him again. And it's just like, even though Spike was there with a backup and Charlie's there with a backup, it's just like, really, it's just like you're there by yourself and you know you have to make this right. And you move in and move in and, and you're waiting for everything because it's different than hunting by yourself. You got this camera running over your shoulder, so for the first time you're hunting one of the largest, biggest creatures on earth and you're really trying to do it right because you want it on the show. You're waiting for Dustin to say yes. You're waiting for the PH to say yes. But 
when it came, when it happened, it all happened at once. I, I, the opportunity came, I dropped down a knee, the scope settled, and I remember myself saying, breathe and do it right. Back off, back off, back off, sorry. When the sound of it went off, I watched him fall in the scope, and it was, uh, it was great. It was it, like nothing you ever shot. Come up here. He's done. <laughs> oh, what a rush! Hold that moment. I'm telling you Perfect what. Perfect shot. Right in on top of him. Right on top of him. I mean, we... We were right there, and that one turned around and looked at us, and we had to back off. We kept on having to go in and yes, out. Yes, yes. And, and then I could see, I could see the shot happen. You said, "Come on, come on, come on!" I could see the whole head. As we the, the last time I pulled you out, that big bull turned and took a few steps towards us, and I scared that he was going to spook, and then this boy was going to go. Oh yeah. So we backed out, and he came across, and we went straight back in there, and you did a perfect brain shot. Oh, I watched him. I just boom. boom. What a rush, man, what a rush. What a nice way to shoot an elephant. Yes. No suffering. No. Beautiful animals. Down and out, just like that. Yeah. Right there, 20, 30 yards. No lights. Oh, less than that. I think the shot was like 15 yards. Unbelievable. That was something. I know some other folks that want to see this, man. Let's get them. Let's go and get them. Well, I'm a very fortunate individual that gets the chance to hunt all over the world and I take an opportunity to go hunting anything that I have a license to hunt. And I figure that's up to the state or provinces and in this case Africa to be able to tell me whether I can hunt an elephant or not. So do I feel bad about that? No. I had an opportunity to hunt an elephant and the elephant itself is a true success story. And anybody or hunting in general. Um, through the conservation efforts of man and, and what we've done for deer and turkey and elk, you know, in the states and then what they've done for elephant. I mean, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. Anybody who wants to listen um, can't, really, can't really argue with success. Elephant, we're not poachers, we're hunters. And I had the opportunity to come and hunt an elephant. And when I guess when I was, you know, 12 to 16, 18, maybe 21, I never dreamed of coming over to Africa and hunting an elephant. I dreamed about it, but I never thought it would come true. So the elephant itself is, is a true success story, just like elk and deer and everything else. For help with all of your hunt booking needs, contact J&M Safaris at jmsafaris.com.